So, <clears throat> the new spring has turned up. Now this is the bit where you probably fi find it really, really funny as I try and get the spring out. Wrap it up nice and thin. This is usually when I take my fingers off, etc. Pair of pliers. This could be one of those uh, gold videos you see on the TV. There we go. And there we have it. So, new spring, old spring. Let's see if we can uh, get this kiddie in to the barrel. So I'm just going to stop the uh, recording while I try and get that in that. Right, cool. It's on and we're ready to wind her up. So we don't have to, as this is a brand new spring, my best sources tell me I don't have to oil it or grease it because they're already pre-oiled and greased. This is a uh, I've put in a strong, stronger spring. In the hope that it will last. Let that go over. Just about. I always leave a little bit on the end so that I can put it into the barrel nicely. I love my Ollie Baker. There we go. And she's in. Yeah. Lovely job. So now, make sure I get this the right way round. Let's see if that's done it. bit more furtling and I think we might have it. Right, let's see if we can wind this baby up without screwing up my hands. There we go. I love my Ollie Baker. Did I say that? I'm sure I've said it many times. Perfect. One spring in its barrel. Lovely. Now we've got to go and chuck it back in the clock. Right, so um, I've managed to get my uh, workbench back, dining room table, uh, because Lynn is, uh, my wife is making scrubs. For the nurses so uh, she's been using this as a cutting table so to clear all my clock stuff away but now we have a spring in the barrel and we've got to get it back in here and the back plate back on okay <clears throat> so we've got it back together again um, it was a bit of a mission to get it all in get all those wheels back in one place but uh, she's back together so now next job for this is to uh, cut some new click wheels for it I replaced the one on that side for the uh, strike but these two click wheels were worn as well and I thought I'd get away with them but I didn't so I'm gonna uh, cut new ones that and then it's just a question of working out how the chime mechanism or setting the chime mechanism and strike mechanism back up again so that it chimes on the uh, quarter of the hour. Got it all back together again, spent about two or three hours 
setting up the chime on it and if I just uh, forward the chime a little bit it should be about the three quarter mark Sweet as a nut. Now I'll just show you the uh, the front of it working. Just Bring it up to the hour. It is a bizarre mechanism. I've not done one like this before. And um, this is obviously done by someone else, this piece here. Um, it's been through the wars, this clock. It's probably been serviced, I don't know how many times. I've put new uh, click wheels on. Um, so, new mainspring into the uh, chime barrel. So I actually put a stronger one in there so that it'll actually last uh, the whole week. And now just to put it back in its case and test it out. Job done. So thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next one.